So today we are going to work on inserting a new country into the database. Right now, this is where we are. We've been able to display a list of countries, but we should be able to insert a new country. So the first thing we want to do is to get a button. When we click a button, it's going to give us a pop-up that displays a modal pop-up to insert a, a button. So let's go to get from Bootstrap. Let's go to get a modal pop-up, a pop-up form that we can fill and then submit. If you are joining for the first time, please hit the submit, uh, the, the subscribe button so that you subscribe to my channel and you don't miss anything. So I've gone to Bootstrap model and you can see Bootstrap model. Let me just go down, go down, down. Let's look for a model that's giving us a form to fill. So here there is no form to fill. Um, I think not this one. Maybe this one is going to work. Let's check this. Let's check this second one. Okay, maybe you can just take the first one. So this first one is okay. So let's copy the button first. There is a button. Let me copy this button. And I'm going to put it on my page just above the table. So this is a table. This is a table. Um, let's see. All right. So this is a table. So just above the table, somewhere here, I can just place this button. Now I added two more divs, but that is optional. So I place this button right here. So I'm going to remove, let's call the data target add model. Data target is the name of the model or the ID of the model that is going to uh, open when you click on that button. All right, so uh, let me expand this so that you see. So there is a button when we click on it, it's going to display a model pop-up whose ID is add model and the the caption of the button or the text on the button is going to be uh, as country. Well, let's just call it new country. New country. All right. All right. So let's go back to Bootstrap and uh, copy the, the form. So there's a form, this form. I'm going to just copy it and put it right on my page. So where are going to paste this form? that you copy this just at the end of the page, just before the scripts, before all the scripts here. Just paste that pop-up at this point. And you are going to change the ID instead of example model, change it to add model, add model, and um, that is fine. So let's test it out. Let's see if this button is gonna display. And then when we click on this button, whether it's going to display the pop-up uh, form for us to be able to work with. While we are waiting for it, I'm going to just go up a bit and just I'm going to go to country and just drop down country service. No, I need country model. Anyway, so let's go to test and see. So I'm going to go here, go back here and just refresh the page. Now you can see this button comes. I'm going to click on it and you have this form comes out. Now we are going to edit this form so that we have only the items we need how to be able to create a new country. So let's go to edit it. So when we go to country, we need a number of things. We need capital, code, continent, description, ID, nationality. We don't need the states. We also don't need the ID because when you are creating a new country, the ID is generated automatically. So in this model, we, ha we have uh, two items. I'm going to remove this message. So we have this this uh, form group and the name is, is it's called recipient da 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 but we need capital code continent description and nationality five items so let me copy and paste it into um into four more times so i'm gonna go v one one time pasted here another time and paste and finally i'm gonna paste it again yeah all right so we have the five items right here. So the first one is going to be description. The second one is going to be capital. The third one is going to be code. The fourth one is going to be uh, continent. And we have nationality. All right, so now this button that is a submit, you are going to call it submit. This one you have here, call it the type is going to be submit, and you are going to move it into the form. Actually, you are going to create one more. 
Okay, but this time I'm going to just take out whatever is here. So what I want inside this place, I'm going to move the submit button into that place because the submit button has to be inside the form for it to be able to submit the form. All right. So this is what we have at this point. And I'm going to just say add new or maybe submit is okay. And the type is submit. Now we are going to give the names of this input to correspond to the name of the fields in the model that you want to to add. So I'm going to say here we have, let's start with the description. So we here we have name is equal to description. So you can see I've added the names. The names have to correspond exactly to the name you have in the model, otherwise it's not going to work. All right, so the nice thing you want to do is to set the, the form, the action of the form, the action attribute of the form to where it's going to be submitted. So I'm going to say action, actually we are working with time leaf, so it's gonna be th action equals, uh, it's going to be arts, arts countries, slash add new. Now this endpoint we are submitting to, uh, we've not actually written this endpoint. So I'm going to kind of um, have it in mind. So this is where we are going to submit. This is the URL where we are going to submit this form. So I'm going to go to the controller and also the service. So we need to write a function in the service to submit or to save a new country. So let me, I'm going to say save new country. All right, so public void uh, save, and it's going to save a country. All right, so simply say country repository does save. Country repository does save and it saves the country that is given as the parameter to this function. So we've written the service function to add a new country. So I'm going to simply go to the controller and simply write about the same function. So I'm going to simply say public. This time I'm going to return a string, which is the same page when you submit a, a, a country, it's going to return the same page, refresh the page and give an updated list of countries. So I'm going to say add new, um, add new and it takes country And you are going to simply say country service dot uh, add new. I think that's what we have. Country service dot uh, maybe we have it as as save. Okay, we have it as save. Country service dot save. Okay, so fine. So I'm going to now return. Now take note of what I'm going to return. I'm going to return a redirect. So we are going to return, sorry, it's gonna be redirect to the same page. Uh, redirect to the same page, which is slash countries. So we are going to simply redirect to the list of countries, but this time it's going to update because you've saved a new country and now at this point, you are going to do the post mapping. Instead of get mapping at this time, it's going to be post mapping to slash countries slash add new. So that is the post mapping. So once we hit this URL, it's going to take that country coming in from the form and it's simply going to add it into the repository by calling the service to save that country and it's going to refresh the page and redirect to the same page. So I'm going to save everything and let's run it and let's see what we have. So if you are missing out anything, please let me know, leave me a comment, tell me what your problem is and I'm going to help you immediately because I really want to share my knowledge. I want as many as possible to learn programming 
because it's really, really not easy. And that is what I would like to do. All right, so let's go back to the countries page. So at this point, I'm going to close this. I'm going to refresh this page at this point, and I'm going to say new. Let's add this time Nigeria and capital Abuja code two three four and continent Africa nationality Nigerian, and I'm going to just click on submit. So it says uh by oh sorry so. The problem is that in our country.html, we actually need to specify methods equal to post. <laughs> That's a mistake. So I'm going to just save everything and I'm going to run it again. Alright, so the server started again at 4080, so let's go test it out. So I'm going to go back and then I'm going to kind of refresh this page and click on the same button, add new, description, Nigeria and Abuja. The call is, let's take out this shape. The call is 234 or 243, whatever it is, Africa. And nationalities Nigerian. So we are expecting it to add and then refresh the page. All right, so you can see we added one item, Nigeria, and everything is fine. You can actually try to add another one. All right, so let's see where we are at this point. So we've added a new country. We inserted a new country, tested it, and it's perfectly okay. We are going to now try to add another thing, and that we've got, we are going to continue on the next part. Please remember to subscribe, like this video, and share it around. If you have any challenges, let me know. I remain kind to the genius.